American artist. I've been making art for over 50 years, although I actually started when I was really young. I started to draw when I was three, and I started to study art when I was five, and I never wanted to do anything but make art. And I hope to make a contribution to art. Actually, I think that there's um, a lot in common between the U.S. and Europe. And since I've been here, I've felt that even more, which is um, <clears throat> as part of my uh, work, I spent a lot of time looking at women's history before there was women's studies. And since I've been here, I've discovered that people in Europe know as little about women's history as people in America did. And also very little about feminist art. So the problem is, is if you're a young woman artist, as I was 50 years ago, and you want to become part of art and art history, it's really hard if you don't know your own history. I often say men can't imagine what it would be like to grow up and to be told, for example, that you can't be a man and an artist too, or that men never made a contribution to history, or that there'd never been any great male artists. Well, that's what a lot of women grew up hearing in Europe and in America. So until our schools and our museums teach all of that to all of us, even though there have been changes, there are not enough changes. So I've really spent my career trying to make art that could address what the curator of the exhibition calls a deficit in Western civilization. Uh, Habiar Arakistan, the curator, organized the exhibition, Why Not Judy Chicago, according to several themes. One, that I recognized all these deficits, a deficit of imagery about women's experiences, a deficit of information about women's history and women's art, and that in order to address those deficits, I had to be a very disobedient young woman, and even an old woman, I'm still disobedient. And the other theme in the exhibition is in the title, Why Not Judy Chicago? Because it's an inquiry into what is still institutional resistance to my work and the work of a lot of other women, in that I was talking about uh, the show at CPAC was at in Bilbao before it was here. And of course, we all know the Bilbao, the Guggenheim Bilbao. And my show was at an alternative institution called Azuka, uh, the Azuka Centra, Center. And they, they had another name, and then they changed it for the, and named it after the former mayor. And I was really upset because I'd finally figured out how to say the original name. Anyway, um, I was talking about how uh, we were staying at a hotel where I could look down the street and see the signs of, at the Guggenheim Bilbao, Sarah and Basquiat, both male American artists. And that's what hasn't changed. And that is, the major institutions have not changed. And so uh, Arrakis's title, Why Not Judy Chicago, is an inquiry. Well, why isn't Judy Chicago over there? <laughs> On the other hand, I'm here and I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have my work being seen by a French audience for the first time. Well, I mean, is that, you know, when I said to you, can you imagine what it would be like to be raised to think that there never been any great male artists? You know, how could you have a career? How could you hope to have a big career? So, uh, yes, I think I, 
at, my, at the conversation the curator and I had the other day, there were a number of young women there, you know, who came up and they were crying, actually, because they had never really seen a woman artist who had such a long and big career as mine. And, it, and one of them said to me, it gives me hope. You know, there was no feminist theory when I started out, first of all. There wasn't any, okay? And um, so I had to create, in a way, what I could talk about as my own vision, which is also my own theory, okay? And the exhibition shows how my both vision and theory expanded as I went along. And, you know, every artist will tell you that the struggle to make art is to reconcile the idea they have in their mind with what comes out of their hand. And then you can never quite get it perfect, so then you have to do it again. <laughs> That's how I ended up making so much art. <laughs> okay. <laughs>